Hi. Hi, Maria. How are you? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining today. This is so amazing. Of course, I will say you brought you brought back so much nostalgia by I was applying this mask and I was thinking of all my travels because it's the first thing I do when I get on the plane to moisturize. So I was thinking of all the trips we could be taking right now. Um, but this is such an amazing initiative. So thank you for including me. This is a, a this is such a pleasure. We love you so much. You're um, one of our generation's greatest athletes. You're the only Russian woman who ever won the Grand Slam. I mean, you're such a superstar and I, I, I only can imagine how mentally strong you must be and um, you have probably the best techniques um, standing on a tennis court, maybe being, you know, just losing a set or something and coming back and winning the whole match. I, I, I think this um, requires so much strength. Do you have some tips for us how we can um, gain a little strength through um, mental focus. Right. So I think what's really helped me throughout my entire career was having a really good perspective on, on the big picture. And by having a really strong like focus on the big picture, you have to take little steps toward that. And right now, um, I think it's somewhat scary and almost intimidating to think of what will happen in a few months, how things are going to shape up, how things will reopen, how we will feel, the insecurities we might face, um, you know, where our economy is going to be at. But during that time, I think it's so important to follow in the in like the smaller, taking the baby steps, you know, doing the things that might make a big difference and figuring out how we're going to be part of the solution and not not being part of the problem in the future. Um, you know, taking care of ourselves, um, taking care of our bodies, taking care of our health. I think it's been a really interesting, um, a tough environment to reset, but I think a much needed reset for our mind and, and for our body. Um, and that's kind of how I've been trying to face this period of time. Yeah, this is very valuable advice. Advice. So what, what would you um, tell all your colleagues who are, um, you know, would normally play tennis tournaments and they, can't really, this is um, also like, you know, their business, their profession. Um, what advice do you have for all the athletes out there right now? Yeah, I would say this is a really good time to also focus on your interests and your passions. You know, we, we always speak about how athletes, you know, we start this profession from a very young age. And, you know, in our minds, we think that we're just going to continue it for the rest of our lives. But especially for women, at a certain age, we start thinking about family. Um, sometimes our bodies break down and we can no longer, um, you know, withstand like the physical aspect of the sport. So we kind of have to look at 2.0 and, and a very similar situation that I'm in right now. And it's never too early to start building on that. So whether it is um, a hobby, you know, whether it's um, architecture that you're interested, whether it's business or entrepreneurship, I think there are a lot of um, a lot of seminars and webinars online that you could be taking at the moment um, to help you while you're, you know, still taking care of your body, but you're not, you're not traveling and competing like we usually are at this, this time of year. Um, and you are such an amazing, successful entrepreneur as well. You um, founded something called Sugar Power. We all love so much. And I love these little tennis balls. And these are like um, some, some sweets, which I also have antioxidants in them. And um, so it's um, sometimes also good to get your um, endorphins up and um, have like a happy feeling by just have a little sugar power tennis ball. So you uh -huh. founded your own business. Yes. Yeah, so I started Sugar Pova um, seven or eight years ago. And, you know, I'm all about the, the feeling of moderation and moderation. We're, we're always so strict about our diets and about our lifestyle and what we do for our bodies. Um, but there's always a piece of us. Like I grew up in my grandmother's kitchen. So I watched her bake all these goodies. And, you know, she never measured uh, the amount of ingredients she put in there, but it was super sweet and I loved it. And so... From time to time, I really believe um, in, in allowing yourself those little guilty pleasures, those moments of indulgence. And that's one of the reasons I started Sugar Pova and like our, our gummies are made with, um, some of our gummies are made with spirulina, um, which is a freshwater algae for colorings. Um, it's a blue raspberry flavor, so super fun. And, and our chocolate um, is made with coconut and, and different flavors. But it's, it's been a really fun passion project, um, but it's a huge part of my life because 
although I know what it takes to be strict and, and serious um, and being a professional athlete and looking looking after yourself and your body, I also know what it's like to to have a bit of a guilty pleasure. So and that's this is really great time. advice. It's really great advice so that we don't have to be so, you know, strict and extreme. So everything in moderation. And yeah, if you um, if we brave a little sugar pop or piece of chocolate, um, we just should go for it. So um, yeah. thank you so much. This was so amazing thank to have you, you here. Having, please donate, such everyone. An inspiration. If you